Hello everybody, welcome to Filmmaking Today, Boy Andilovic here. So, are you looking for a new kit lens, maybe an all-purpose lens with a nice range? Stay tuned for more. This is the Panasonic 12-60mm lens. This is a kit lens that normally comes with the Panasonic G85 or G80 model, depending on where you are in the world. You can buy this lens separately. There are two models. There is this one, which is around $500, and it is a 3.5 to 5.6 f-stop. And then there is another lens, which is 2.8 f-stop to 4, and that one is around $900. So there's definitely a pretty big price difference between the two. Let's take a look at the actual build of this lens here. So uh, as you can see, this is what it looks like. You've got two rings here. This one adjusts the, um, the actual uh, zoom. So as you can see, this is uh, 60, and then this here is... Uh, 12. Uh, now, w what's interesting is um, when you're actually, when you're in between 12 and 18, it does actually zoom uh, back. So basically, 18 is fully zoomed in, 12, it does zoom out a little bit, and then actually 25 is kind of, it kind of goes back and forth, and then uh, once you're above uh, 25, that's when it actually, you know, extends. Um, just, you know, some some to know it doesn't really uh, make a big difference at all um, so yeah so this is to zoom uh, this is obviously to focus now they are um, you know they're relatively smooth this is um, you know again for a kit lens um, this is relatively smooth uh, obviously not as smooth as other lenses that are more expensive prime lenses uh, prime lenses are um, not for zooming, but, you know, just to adjust focus and all that stuff. Um, you know, it's okay. It's definitely on the better side when it comes to kit lenses. Again, when it comes to prime lenses, there are uh, more uh, smoother rings. Um, yeah, so anyway, so um, that's that. Um, it's not too bad, not too bad at all uh, when it comes to uh, the actual just the feel of it, I mean, it's actually pretty sturdy, right? I mean, yes, it's made out of plastic. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Um, however, when you open up this here, you know, you will see metal here. So that's a nice touch. Uh, because when you compare this one to other prime lenses, for example, I have the, um, I have another Lumix lens here, which is the 14-42. Now, this guy here, you know, this one here is definitely not uh, the same build quality as this one. I mean, uh, you know, if, first of all, if, if when you're holding it, it's, it's a bit smaller, so that's fine. But that's not it. When you're holding it, you can you can feel how flimsy it is. I mean, even if you're if you're, I don't know if you can hear this. When you're shaking it, I'll hold it closer to the mic up here. And then I'll compare that to this one you know it's it, it just it's just this one uh, it's focusing here this one just feels definitely a lot more flimsy and uh cheap and uh, if you look at this guy here you know you got plastic here nothing no metal or anything so this one definitely a step up when it comes to quality build quality and um all that stuff and um, yeah I think it's definitely worth it so you do get this little lens hood right so without it this is what it looks like and it's pretty compact I mean definitely you know something you can carry with you throw it in a small bag no doubt about that uh, there is uh, no other you know uh, no other buttons or anything on it you just get these two rings and um, when it comes to the uh, the actual diameter so this is a 58 diameter so something to keep in mind if you need step up rings or anything like that uh, it is on the bigger size for micro four thirds lenses in my case it actually works fine because my ND filters are actually uh, 58 because on other uh, most of my other uh, lenses like this guy here I think this is 46 what is this sorry no this is 52 actually 
52. Uh, my other ones are 46. So, um, yeah, anyway, just something to keep in mind for filters and, um, well, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, this guy just snaps on like that. Again, not, doesn't add too much bulk or anything, so that's all good. And here you can see the quality of the lens. Now, this is fully zoomed into 60, and as you can see, first of all, the stabilization is actually pretty good. I'm using this lens with the Panasonic G85 because this lens is image stabilized, and the G85 is also image stabilized, so you get dual image stabilization, which is what Panasonic calls it. And it's actually pretty sweet, as you can see here. And here's another example. Here you can see how much you can actually zoom in, or rather zoom out, when you go from 60 back to 12, which gives you a lot of leeway to compose that perfect shot and here you can see more examples of the lens now these shots look great but they are also outside it was a sunny day you know and you do get really beautiful shots there's no doubt about that when it comes to low light performance this lens is not the greatest I mean it's your typical kit lens with a 3.5 f-stop so obviously when it comes to low light performance I mean there's other factors it depends on the camera you're using uh, how you know good it performs under low light obviously but when it comes to this lens specifically it is not a fast lens I mean it's a kit lens so that is to be expected if if you do want a faster lens, you'll have to go with the more expensive option, which has a 2.8 f-stop. So you'll get a little bit uh, better low light performance on that one. But when it comes to this guy here, not the greatest. However, when it comes to an all-in-one lens, this one will do well. There's no doubt about that. I mean, I have this guy in my backpack or my camera bag all the time. This is my all-purpose lens, uh, whether it's uh, when I'm, you know, with the family out or you know if I'm shooting stuff for the channel I haven't used this yet for professional work uh, outside of my channel but uh, I can definitely see myself do that so when it comes to the image quality I mean as you can see all this stuff here was shot with this lens now I have color graded this I usually shoot in Cine D mode on the camera on my G85 and then I grade it in post which is a normal workflow but as you can see the the quality is pretty good there's no doubt about that here's some images too I mean it's uh, when it comes to photography in my opinion again as an all-purpose lens it definitely delivers especially when you're out and about and you're doing landscape photography just just street photography basically walking around this lens will definitely do a good job the zoom is great having 12 to 60 which basically on a micro four thirds means 24 to 120 which is a really great range. I mean, 24 to 120, that's a that's a pretty sweet range for a kit lens. As always, guys, links to everything you see here will be in the description, so check it out. So that's it, guys. I hope you do enjoy this video. Um, as I mentioned, I think this lens is a, you know, it's a really kick-ass all-purpose lens. I'm using it right now. I've actually been using it on my YouTube channel for... Uh, for a few videos for sure and uh, I have noticed a significant difference uh, between this one and what I used before which um, which is this guy right here I use this um, uh, pancake 14 mil lens which is nice I, I love this lens uh, but obviously having this one gives you gives me more flexibility you know obviously I can zoom in you know and all that stuff whereas this one is stuck at 14 mil uh, although this one is faster, this one is, is a 2.5 um, uh, f-stop lens. So, um, you know, uh, I not have noticed the difference, love it. And as I mentioned in the video, um, I've this was my basically my main uh, kit lens up until now, which is which is the, the 14 to 42 mil Panasonic lens. And I, I did a video on this one um, when I... Um, talked about my Olympus OMD EM5 Mark II and it's a great lens love it I've been using the you know the hell out of it in the past but this one has replaced it there is no doubt about it I mean first of all the, the range is better as I mentioned in the video the the um, quality of, of the actual lens is better and just overall you are getting a better experience so I'm you know getting rid of this guy and, um, you know, I'm going to stick with this one as my all-purpose lens. It will be my lens for this YouTube channel uh, for a while anyway. And, um, you know, I'll use it for B-roll and, you know, obviously, you know, I'll use it for other things. 
uh, family related videos I've been using this one to shoot uh, you know uh, videos and uh, photos of my family and it works really well for those situations I used to haul around two three lenses with me when I go to family outings yes I'm the guy who you know brings three lenses with him when I go to birthday parties that's me hi uh, uh, now I only bring this lens and like I said, unless it's extreme situations such as very low light, you know, if we're indoors and I don't know if it's a if it's a really low light situation, um, you know, I, I'll bring another lens. But other than that, you know, this is the lens. So um, yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you found this video um, informative and all that. Uh, links to everything will be in the description. Check it out if you like this video. Hit that like button. Hit the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Tell your friends, you know, spread the love and all that stuff. If you got questions, please let me know. If you would like me to do a comparison video between this lens and uh, this one here, uh, which I'm actually thinking of doing just to, just to see the quality of it. Uh, you know, um, from what I've seen so far, I, I you know, I, I stand behind, I stand uh, behind my statement that this one. Uh, gives a, a slight better quality uh, so if you are interested in knowing how you know what the difference is between this one and, and this one let me know I'll do a comparison video and yeah we'll do that all right guys thanks